Welcome back everyone to Grammar for Kids, episode number four. Today we are working with nouns, specifically proper, common, and pronouns. And you've probably learned about nouns before. This is a, a very, uh, <coughs> it's a topic that you, you find in kindergarten all the way up to uh, upper elementary. So you've probably have seen nouns before and know all about them. So we'll do a review today. If you'd like to work alongside the video, then you can print the page found in the link below. And it, may I please ask for a favor as well? So if you if you wouldn't mind clicking the like and subscribe buttons, it would uh, be great greatly appreciated. Your support helps us uh, make more videos, so so thank you very much. Let's start together, and then I'll give you time to finish on your own, and we can discuss some of the answers at the at the end of the video. Let's go ahead and identify our papers, like always, with our name and date. The upper right hand corner. And the date, remember we're using the American format for dates. So uh, for example, December 7th, 1941 would be the date format. And this is actually a very historical day. Uh, unfortunately, it's a sad day for American history. This was the day that Pearl Harbor in Hawaii was attacked by, by Japanese uh, military in a surprise attack. And so uh, a couple thousand Americans were killed uh, very quickly at the Navy base in surrounding area. And this was the first, uh, this was when Japan declared war on the, on the United States. And so after that, the United States declares war back. And then Germany declares war on us. And so we have the Second World War now involving America. So that was the date that it happened. Topic today is nouns, and we're working on some editing still. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight. You know how I like to highlight. So I'm going to highlight the, the key term, noun. And then a noun, as you know, is a person, place, or thing. Person, place, or thing. So really, nouns are all around us when we write. I would probably say most of your words are, are nouns. Here's some more information. Generally, they are words used as subjects or objects of verbs. Mm -hmm. Good point. So they, they're related to the verbs. The verbs are the action of the sentence. So the nouns sort of support the verbs and they kind of work together. And then we have common nouns and we all we know what common nouns are. Things like the chair, the horse, the house, the grass, happiness, sand, dreams, we call those common nouns. Common nouns, we don't capitalize. We just leave them lowercase. But if your noun is a has a name, then we are going to capitalize it. And these are called proper nouns. Let me highlight that too. So I've got common nouns. I've got proper nouns. And proper nouns have names. Uh, Ernie is a name, so we're going to capitalize. Statue of Liberty, we're going to capitalize. Grand Canyon's a place. We're going to capitalize it. And then we're on the pronouns. So pronouns are the little ones that don't really specify what you're talking about or who you're talking about. It might be words like I, he, she, we. They're not exactly telling us detailed information. We don't know who these people are. So we're going to call them pronouns. It, everybody, them, their. And so they're very important in your writing as well. Today's topic is well, speaking of World War II, it is World War II. So we have uh, these are the cargo ships that they built in World War II. Very important. So as America's fighting its war on in the Pacific Ocean and over in Europe, they have to bring the supplies with them. <clears throat> and so these ships are very important to get uh, to get people and to get the all the material over to the to the battlefronts. So this is called the SS John Brown, proper noun. And their nickname is the Liberty Ship. Liberty meaning that they helped win the war. There's only three of them still remaining in America, <clears throat> and they're all floating museums. I know there's one up in San Francisco, and that one, uh, they actually, I think, give tours every once in a while. They'll take the boat out <clears throat> into the bay and, and 
let people experience what it was like. And then down below, we have, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> we have Captain Hugh Molzak, and he's sort of our topic today as well. He's the first uh, black American sea captain. So during World War II, the, the military was still segregated. You had uh, white soldiers and black soldiers, and they really weren't being integrated, meaning that they were working together. They, had, they were just kind of separated. So Hugh Molzak becomes the first uh, African-American uh, liberty ship captain in great accomplishment. Let's go back to our directions at the top. All right, edit and rewrite the following sentences. <clears throat> and as we did yesterday, um, I'll go ahead and, and just go through and, and uh, score it by uh, circling things that I want to change. So right away, I see Liberty needs to be capitalized. Liberty ships were cargo ships used, dur used during World War II. Okay, that's a proper noun. And then whenever you use like World War I and World War II, they use the Roman numeral. <clears throat> so we'll use Roman numerals for World War II. And it says to rewrite also. So let's go ahead and rewrite it. Uh, you can do it on separate lined paper if you want, or if you have room, you can go ahead and do it, uh, uh, squeeze it in down below here. So I'll just squeeze it in. Liberty ships. Go ahead and follow along with me, please, and write your write your final, final corrected sentence. Liberty ships were... Cargo ships used during capitalized World War. It's a proper noun. So at this point, uh, it's pretty straightforward. We're just editing. Um, yeah, I'm looking at number two here. Same thing, some capitalizing going to take place that we need to fix. Two million bucks. Well, how about two million dollars? So anything slang, you want to make it, form, you want to formalize it. And just go ahead and do one through 10. And then as we get down toward the bottom, there's a section on abbreviations. So let's discuss this. Use abbreviations to save space when everyone understands their meaning. All right. Let me underline our topic, <clears throat> abbreviations. Mr. Right, MR period. A reverend. A reverend, I don't know if uh, you're familiar, but a reverend is a, a church leader. So let me put down, just to remind myself, he's the leader of the church. And then Mrs. stands for mistress. So usually if they're married, they go by the Mrs., the mistress name. Doctor of philosophy. This is a college professor, somebody who's gone to school uh, many, many, many years. And they earned a degree called a PhD, doctor of philosophy. So in parentheses, let me put down, uh, hmm, let's say college. So that's a teacher in college. Doctor, we know doctor. Captain's abbreviated, C-A-P-T. Junior, so if, uh, let's say you have the same name as your father, you'd be considered a junior, which means that senior would be the, the, the dad's name. So junior and senior go together. And then you have the doctor of medicine. Sometimes as you drive around town, you might see a sign on the window or a sign out front saying uh, uh, Dr. Jamie, Dr. Jamie Smith, MD. So MD usually goes at the end of a title. And it's the same thing as pretty much a doctor up here. <clears throat> but this is a doctor of medicine. Just another way to say, say the two. So those two are 
are usually connected. You'll see them quite a bit. Uh, let's do number 11 together, then I'll, I'll let, you, let you finish the rest. <clears throat> Edit and simplify the following sentences with abbreviations. Okay, same thing. Dr. Sid Jones, Jr. teaches medicine at John Hopkins University. Okay, so we're going to abbreviate Dr. Sid Jones is capitalized. Junior, we can abbreviate. Teaches medicine at John Hopkins University. Proper noun, it's the name of, name of a place. And then we'll put a period. <clears throat> you know what, it doesn't say rewrite, so maybe we're not gonna have to rewrite these. Maybe we'll just spell them out here. So edit and simplify. Um, Okay, so if you correct it, let's just write it down underneath. So let's say Dr. Junior. And then let's just go ahead and spell it John Hopkins University. It's a very, very uh, prestigious university for medicine. And then period. Okay, so. So we don't have to rewrite. Let's just go ahead and fix it. Uh, when, you, when you see something needs to be fixed, just go ahead and write it down below underneath. All right, so at this time, I'll give you a chance to go back and do your best. And we'll correct in a few minutes. I went ahead and... Uh, here, here's the answer key. Um, now remember, editing, there could be different possibilities. So if yours, if yours looks different from this on the, on the screen, uh, that's okay. That's, that's very likely, that's very possible. So I just went through and highlighted uh, what I thought were the answers. Um, I think I'll just, let's do this. Let's go ahead and pause it right there if you wanna study the answers. And then uh, when we're ready, we'll go ahead and slide it down to the bottom part. One thing I should say about, I know I make my videos with the uh, answer keys. Uh, you don't want to jump ahead to the, go straight to the answer. So you always want to do the work first. That's how we learn. We learn by doing. And then at the very end, we'll go and check and just make sure that we're, we're on the same page. Yeah, learning on, online or through in, even in the classroom uh, involves uh, uh, making connections. So really, you, you have to pick up the pencil. You have to do the work. Uh, in order to uh, just understand it, you have to let your brain process that information and that helps retain it. You never want to just jump to the answers and, and copy down the answers and, and then say you're done. Okay, so if you're not, if you haven't checked it over, just go ahead and press pause. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom part. And 11 through 15, those are possible ways that you could uh, edit, the, edit the sentences. Same thing, if you, want to go, if you want to go ahead and pause it, you can pause it now. All right, we'll pause there for today. And nice job, everyone. Thank you for joining me on today's Lessons with Nouns. And we'll see you next time. Take care.